Hi, and welcome to Meditating the Word. I'm so glad you joined us. We're reading the entire Bible this year in chronological order. If you'd like to download a copy of the reading plan, just go to blueletterbible.com. You'll find a link in the notes. The translation I'm reading from is the World English Bible, but feel free to follow along in your favorite translation. And would you do me a huge favor and subscribe to this podcast? You can subscribe on your favorite podcast platform and on YouTube. That will help others find this podcast. This is Day 52. Today, we're reading Leviticus chapters 24 and 25. The Third Book of Moses, commonly called Leviticus, chapters 24 and 25. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they bring to you pure olive oil beaten for the light, to cause a lamp to burn continually. Outside of the veil of the testimony in the tent of meeting, Aaron shall keep it in order from evening to morning before the Lord continually. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations. He shall keep in order the lamps on the pure gold lampstand before the Lord continually. You shall take fine flour and bake twelve cakes of it. Two tenths of an ephah shall be in one cake. You shall set them in two rows, six on a row, on the pure gold table before the Lord. You shall put pure frankincense on each row, that it may be to the bread for a memorial, even an offering made by fire to the Lord. Every Sabbath day he shall set it in order before the Lord continually. It is an everlasting covenant on the behalf of the children of Israel. It shall be for Aaron and his sons. They shall eat it in a holy place, for it is most holy to him of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, by a perpetual statute. The son of an Israelite woman, whose father was an Egyptian, went out among the children of Israel, and the son of the Israelite woman, and a man of Israel, strove together in the camp. The son of the Israelite woman blasphemed the name and cursed, and they brought him to Moses. His mother's name was Shalomith, the daughter of Dibri, of the tribe of Dan. They put him in custody until the Lord's will should be declared to them. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Bring him who cursed out of the camp, and let all who heard him lay their hands on his head, and let all the congregation stone him. You shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, Whoever curses his God shall bear his sin. He who blasphemes the Lord's name, he shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall surely stone him. The foreigner as well as the native-born shall be put to death when he blasphemes the name. He who strikes any man mortally shall surely be put to death. He who strikes an animal mortally shall make it good life for life. If anyone injures his neighbor, it shall be done to him as he has done. Fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. It shall be done to him as he has injured someone. He who kills an animal shall make it good, and he who kills a man shall be put to death. You shall have one kind of law for the foreigner as well as the native born, for I am the Lord your God. Moses spoke to the children of Israel, and they brought him who had cursed out of the camp and stoned him with stones. The children of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses. The Lord said to Moses on Mount Sinai, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When you come into the land which I give you, then the land shall keep a Sabbath to the Lord. You shall sow your field six years, and you shall prune your vineyard six years, and gather in its fruits. But in the seventh year there shall be a Sabbath of solemn rest for the land, a Sabbath to the Lord. You shall not sow your field or prune your vineyard, What grows of itself in your harvest, you shall not reap, and you shall not gather the grapes of your undressed vine. It shall be a year of solemn rest for the land. The Sabbath of the land shall be for food for you, for yourself, for your servant, for your maid, 
for your hired servant and for your stranger who lives as a foreigner with you, for your livestock also and for the animals that are in your land shall all its increase be for food. You shall count off seven Sabbaths of years, seven times seven years, and there shall be to you the days of seven Sabbaths of years, even forty-nine years. Then you shall sound the loud trumpet on the tenth day of the seventh month, on the Day of Atonement. You shall sound the trumpet throughout all your land. You shall make the fiftieth year holy and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee to you, and each of you shall return to his own property, and each of you shall return to his family. That fiftieth year shall be a jubilee to you. In it you shall not sow, neither reap that which grows of itself, nor gather from the undressed vines. For it is a jubilee. It shall be holy to you. You shall eat of its increase out of the field. In this year of jubilee, each of you shall return to his property. If you sell anything to your neighbor or buy from your neighbor, you shall not wrong one another. According to the number of years after the jubilee, you shall buy from your neighbor. According to the number of years of the crops, he shall sell to you. According to the length of the years, you shall increase its price, and according to the shortness of the years, you shall diminish its price, for he is selling the number of the crops to you. You shall not wrong one another, but you shall fear your Lord, for I am the Lord your God. Therefore you shall do my statutes, and keep my ordinances, and do them, and you shall dwell in the land in safety. The land shall yield its fruit, and you shall eat your fill, and dwell therein in safety. If you said, What shall we eat the seventh year? Behold, we shall not sow, nor gather in our increase. Then I will command my blessing on you in the sixth year, and it shall bear fruit for three years. You shall sow the eighth year, and eat of the fruits from the old store until the ninth year. Until its fruits come in, you shall eat the old store. The land shall not be sold in perpetuity, for the land is mine. For you are strangers and live as foreigners with me. In all the land of your possession, you shall grant a redemption for the land. If your brother becomes poor and sells some of his possessions, then his kinsman who is next to him shall come and redeem that which his brother has sold. If a man has no one to redeem it, and he becomes prosperous and finds sufficient means to redeem it, then let him reckon the years since its sale, and restore the surplus to the man to whom he sold it, and he shall return to his property. But if he isn't able to get it back for himself, then what he has sold shall remain in the hand of him who has bought it until the year of Jubilee. In the Jubilee, it shall be released, and he shall return to his property. If a man sells a dwelling house in a walled city, then he may redeem it within a whole year after it has been sold. For a full year he shall have the right of redemption. If it isn't redeemed within the space of a full year, then the house that is in the walled city shall be made sure in perpetuity to him who bought it throughout his generations. It shall not be released in the Jubilee, but the houses of the villages, which have no wall around them, shall be accounted for with the fields of the country. They may be redeemed, and they shall be released in the Jubilee. Nevertheless, in the cities of the Levites, the Levites may redeem the houses in the cities of their possession at any time. The Levites may redeem the house that was sold and the city of his possession, and it shall be released in the Jubilee. For the houses of the cities of the Levites are their possession among the children of Israel. But the field of the pasture lands of their cities may not be sold, for it is their perpetual possession. If your brother has become poor, and his hand can't support himself among you, then you shall uphold him. He shall live with you like an alien and a temporary resident. 
Take no interest from him or profit, but fear your God, that your brother may live among you. You shall not lend him your money at interest, nor give him your food for profit. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, to give you the land of Canaan, and to be your God. If your brother has grown poor among you and sells himself to you, you shall not make him to serve as a slave. As a hired servant and as a temporary resident, he shall be with you. He shall serve with you until the year of Jubilee. Then he shall go out from you, he and his children with him, and shall return to his own family and to the possession of his fathers. For they are my servants, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as slaves. You shall not rule over him with harshness, but shall fear your God. As for your male and your female slaves, whom you may have from the nations that are around you, from them you may buy male and female slaves. Moreover, the children of the aliens who live among you, of them you may buy, and of their families who are with you, which they have conceived in your land, and they will be your property. You may make them an inheritance for your children after you to hold for a possession. Of them you may take your slaves forever, but over your brothers, the children of Israel, you shall not rule, one over the other, with harshness. If an alien or temporary resident with you becomes rich, and your brother beside him has grown poor, and sells himself to the stranger or foreigner living among you, or to a member of the stranger's family, after he is sold, he may be redeemed. One of his brothers may redeem him, or his uncle, or his uncle's son may redeem him, or anyone who is a close relative to him of his family may redeem him. Or if he has grown rich, he may redeem himself. He shall reckon with him who bought him from the year that he sold himself to him to the year of Jubilee. The price of his sale shall be according to the number of years. He shall be with him according to the time of a hired servant. If there are yet many years, according to them he shall give back the price of his redemption out of the money that he was bought for. If there remains but a few years to the year of Jubilee, then he shall reckon with him, according to his years of service, he shall give back the price of his redemption. As a servant hired year by year shall be with him, he shall not rule with harshness over him in your sight. If he isn't redeemed by these means, then he shall be released in the year of Jubilee, he and his children with him. For to me, the children of Israel, are servants. They are my servants, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Father God, thank you for the year of Jubilee. As we seek Jesus throughout Scripture in the Old Testament, we find him here. He is our Jubilee. We were slaves to sin, but when Jesus came as the perfect sacrifice, as our kinsman redeemer, we were set free to return home to you, to the house of our Father. We didn't have to redeem ourselves. We couldn't. We could never have paid the price. But we have been redeemed by his blood and are forever yours. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say, Amen. I'd like to invite you to join our Facebook community and to share your thoughts about today's reading. I put a link in the notes. If you enjoy these episodes, it would mean a lot to me if you would rate and review this podcast. Again, thank you for joining me as we read the Bible in a year. I can't wait to see you tomorrow as we continue our journey. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.